Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Here we're going to go over how to create a integration between Google Maps and uh, Google Maps Places Autocomplete API. So here I have the Google Maps um, installed. It's a little bit out of uh, the CSS style position. It's kind of overflowing to the bottom, but that doesn't matter. Um, in the input form area, we can type in, um, it's current my current location, Vancouver, but I can go to say, um, Let's do Texas. Let's see where this goes to. And it goes to Texas. As you can see, the map updates. Um, we can do, let's say, Victoria, London, UK. And it updates to the new map location as soon as we type or enter the uh, location area. So it's pretty simple to do. So um, I didn't find any tutorials online that did specifically the integration between auto places and uh, the places autocomplete and Google Maps. So here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, MPX create React app and create a new application. So I'm going to go to terminal, do MPX create React app. I'll call it a little bit of a lengthy name. You can create it in any name you want. Google map integration and let's wait until that finishes installing and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we have finished installing the React um, React MPX create React app. So we're going to go ahead and cd into the folder. And let's see what I have to do first. So first I'm going to go to the app.js file and here I'm just going to clean this up. Or first I'm going to actually do npm uh, run start, npm run start. And open that up here just to show you it's working, and it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this since we don't need this. And delete the logo since we don't need that. Then just gonna say Google Maps um, places autocomplete. I'm just gonna do Google Maps integration just for simplicity. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to this website and this is the Google Maps uh, React app so that which allows us to use Google Maps API in uh, in React JS. So I have to go to um, npm install this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Install. And that should install pretty quickly, I think. Let's just wait for that to install. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this portion of the code, which is all the way down here. This is at the top. This is all the way down here. And this is just the sample code from the uh, documentation. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Uh, into the component. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and create a Google Map component. We're going to create that in a second. We're actually going to create that now. So we're going to go ahead and do import Google Map from components Google Map. And let's create this component now. And we're going to go to new folder, components, then new file, Google map.js, and paste it right in here. So let's see what error we get. We get um, components, app.js, module not found. Hmm, I think we just installed this. OK, 
Okay, so I just created um, this uh, file and now it's giving me these errors. I just inserted the, um, the code from the bottom right here. I inserted all this. And then I also had to go up top and I have to insert the Google API code right here. I have to, um, this is the map container which we just copied and pasted right, uh, right a few seconds ago. And I have to include this at the very top of the Google Maps um, API, the Google Map component as well. So I'm gonna do a component file. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to copy and paste this to the bottom. And I already have a Google Maps API key, so you will have to have your Google Maps API key ready to uh, do this tutorial. There's plenty of other um, uh, tutorials out there showing you how to get your Google Maps API key, so you can do that. And then you do not do have to put it into a string value like this. And then let's see what errors we get. We get uh, the component is not defined. And we have to, since we're using class component, we have to have the React uh, component uh, import, which I'm gonna do at the very top here, import. React component from React, like so. Map is not defined, marker is not defined, and info window is not defined. So to do that, I need to go back here and let's say, um, let's say I think if we go down to, let's see, info, we need something like this. Um, I think there was a better way to do that. Nope, that's right. So we need all this to be imported as well. So instead of just Google Wrapper, we're going to have, oops, we're gonna have this. Um, here we, we're gonna, we're actually gonna delete info window and uh, we are going to use marker and map, so we're going to keep that, but we're going to delete inf uh, info window since we don't need that. And down below, we're going to um, delete info window. We're going to delete this. We don't need this. Not for our tutorial, at least. And then we have, uh, we have to get component is defined. Um, Map is not defined, marker is not defined, info window is not defined. Line 32. Hmm. I wonder why it's not updating. If I rerun this, npm run start, I wonder if that changes anything. Yep, it's working now. So we have uh, the Google Maps installed. Now let's uh, go ahead and install the uh, Google um, uh, Auto Places Complete API. But first, let's also center our map to Vancouver, just so I can show you how you can do that if you want to change the location where it's done. Um, so I'm going to go to, let's see. Going to go to map, and here I'm going to delete the on click since we're not using that. Format this a little bit better. And here I'm going to do initial center and lat and longitude. So I'm going to say this state map center dot lat and this state map center dot longitude, like so. Then I'm gonna to go to the top, and here I'm going to say map center and lat 
and longitude. So the, these are the coordinates for Vancouver and British Columbia. So I'm going to copy and paste those coordinates right here, like so. And we get Vancouver on load. <clears throat> so you can change that to anywhere you want. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing for a marker. So marker is going to be, uh, I'm going to delete this since I don't need that. And also delete this since I don't need this either. But I want to just format this. And position, this is uh, just again the API. So position is what defines where the um, the marker goes to. Uh, so I'm going to go here and say lat. And actually I'm just gonna copy and paste this since that's exactly what we're gonna use. Like so. And there you go. So those are gonna update as soon as um, the state updates anytime. So now all we have to do is actually update the center. And instead of just initial center only, we have to also put center as well because initial center only means when it's uh, the page is refreshed. So this, if we do uh, normal center here, that means it's gonna update as long as the uh, ver state variables update anytime during the page, the application running time. Uh, okay, so that's done, and um, <clears throat> we're going to go up and let's see. Next, we're going to go to um, <clears throat> the Auto Places Complete API. So I'm going to go to that website right here. This one right here one with about 100,000 weekly downloads, and I'm going to go ahead and install this. So go to our terminal, open up a new terminal, then install. And then I'm going to import the autocomplete and the um, the other variables for autocomplete as well needed. So I'm just gonna use this code right here, which is a combination of those two from above. So copy and paste that, and copy and paste that right here. And then um, I'm also going to, uh, I need to copy and paste this uh, script tag into the index.html file. So copy and paste that, go to source, oops, go to public, I mean, go and then go to index.html. And then here, I'm just going to paste this at the top of the body tag right here. And then I need to, I think I need to get uh, the places autocomplete from the sample code right here, copy and paste that come back to our Google Maps API file and we're going to create a single con uh, containing div tag so div ID Google map we're gonna take this and place that inside right here and we're also going to copy and paste the autocomplete uh, place this autocomplete um, component right here as well and let's go back and see what we have uh, if I type in Vancouver it's not showing so let's see hmm I wonder why that's not working so let's go back to console okay so we don't need to do this we don't we cannot exclude that because we are already loading up the um, Google API through uh, this portion right here. So we don't have to do that twice. So we don't have to include it in the index.html file. And then I also have to um, insert these two, these, uh, these two functions. And I'm going to insert that in the, um, and we're also going to delete these two since that's from the marker 
function from the Google Maps API that we don't need. So we're going to insert these two here. And then we also have to have a constructor with the props and the states inside. And insert that right here. And we have to, um, we're going to organize this a little bit. And we're going to move everything from inside here, from the state that we already had. And we're going to move it right down here. Like so, and make that organized, and then delete this. Error render error. Okay, I think that's how it works. Just getting the parentheses correct, and we don't need this. Perfect. Now let's see if it works. Okay, great. Now um, we can type in the uh, letters and the CDS pop up. But the um, if we copy and paste the code from the AP uh, the reference documentation right away, it doesn't work um, as intended. So what we have to do is we have to um, update that. Um, so I'm going to so when uh, so when the item is updated on change, um, no, on change is correct, on select. So when we select a specific address, this function is run. And right here, we have to, uh, we have to change, we have to update the code so that it actually updates the, um, the address into the, the the selected address and so copies and pastes the selected address into the address bar so for example if we type in vancouver or valencia spain we want this to actually go inside the input box when we click on it so to do that we're going to do this set state and i think let's see yeah set state and then address is going to be address so that's i think uh that should work. So let's try Vancouver. Yep, Vancouver works. Um, Seattle. Seattle works. And then we also have to update the longitude and the latitude. So let's do that. So here we're going to do another set state. This set state. And we're going to update uh, the map center here. So copy and paste that down here. And let that equal to lat lon variable. So now we can go to Seattle and let's see if it updates below. Yep, it updates and we get the uh, marker there as well, the red, the red uh, bullet point here. Um, let's try another address, um, Italy. city in the US apparently. And um, yeah, we get the um, Google Maps auto, uh, auto complete integrated with the Google Maps in React JS. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.